uh, since they started this project, and in my opinion, this is it's it's amazing for a one-year project. It's got a lot to offer. Um, I don't want to use the word potential because it's overused, and oftentimes potential means that it's not a good situation. People use the word potential to refer to like, oh, he was he had good potential. It's usually not a positive aspect. So I can say with 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 sincerity that it's beyond that's past the potential. Uh, no, that's not the right way to say it either. It's um it's fruitful. That's the best way to say it. It's actually fruitful. Jason's done a lot of work here. The people he's had here have actually, you could see it. By being here, when I first got here, it's, there's been work done. And I get here, there's like seven people or, or five right now on this property and then two on the other property. And there's been work done. And now as far as the, the days I've been here, um, yesterday and today, um, Jason's a good leader. He gives people the space, the encouragement, support to, to not just work together as a, as a team, but also encourage someone to do their own thing. Um, he's really good about that, very open to communication. Um, so the second day, my, my day left today, I woke up. Um, I can tell you I was kind of tired just overnight because of all the traveling with the buses, which is, is okay, I'll get over that. Um, and so, and we, we went to town yesterday to get some fruit, so that was really nice, and, and used the internet at the restaurant. Um, but I could say that today was simple. We, we, we planted some sticks on the ground to show where we're gonna plant the relinia, the papaya, um, cleared up. We did some mulching as well. Fruits. First thing in the morning, I had some bananas. And anyone watching this video right now, or whenever you do watch it, understand that if you do take on a, a lifestyle of eating mostly fruits, please, 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 I encourage you and I, I, I wish for you the greatest of, of life. When you do eat bananas, make sure they're ripe. I could tell you I ate like four bananas earlier today, and wow, I mean, I went to the bathroom within. 40 minutes of eating them and and it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful feeling because the reason why I say this is because in the United States when you do buy bananas they're not they're not ripe you're not gonna find many ripe bananas it's not common and by ripe I don't mean the color just the color of the skin I mean when you open it the banana should be kind of brown and, and very moist so um, so yeah that's that's off the subject but I just want to encourage you the, the, the day here is very simple um, you work you can work between um, I cleaned the house as well for a bit, the floors and the cabinets, but um, there isn't a, a, a whip cracking here. It's basically, you see something needs to be done, you do it. And so far I've seen everybody that are here right now, that is here right now, um, do that, exactly that. They see something need to be done and they're responsible enough to do it. And uh, I haven't seen Jason for the last two days or anyone here really uh, turn away from any kind of work that needs to be done. I'm very, very thankful to be here. All right, what are some of the benefits you see from people living and working at Terra Frutis? Uh, the benefits of living and working on Terra Frutis for the two days I've been here. I've only been here two. Um, the benefits I've seen is that you get to know, you're getting to know the, the dirt, soil, the, the nature conditions. I mean, so many people, we had a discussion earlier about the word holistic and natural, and it's we have good, lively conversations. I've been here, amazing conversations with intelligent people. Um, that have a really an amazing perspective. Intelligence is one thing, but perspective to me is, is valuable. Um, so there is an appreciation for everything here. It's a thankfulness, it's a gratitude, and it's hard hard times regarding the sun on you, the nature, the natural elements to, to challenge you. But the benefit is that you you're forced to appreciate. You're forced to appreciate what you put in your mouth. Um, and then the other benefit is on the way over here, and even in town, you see how people struggle really struggle. I mean, living in the United States, we call struggling something very different than the people here in Ecuador and Colombia. Like living on health care, yeah. some subsidy, subsidy income, but something. here they're carrying 50 pounds at the age of 70 plus, or even like walking through town. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, like, you know, yeah. a very old person that doesn't seem, yeah. like they should be carrying 50 pounds of food or garbage or something across no, nursing town. Homes. They're no, doing it though. Yeah, no special homes for them to just relax yeah. and drink iced tea or whatever, or <laughs> take their medicine, of course. But yeah, absolutely right, Jason. It's like uh, you see, you appreciate where you, what you had, and I think if anything, for someone not just watching this video but living here in Terra Frutas in Ecuador and Colombia, I I only hope, and I encourage.